Hey buddies, this is Sergio from the SOS factory and uh, we go ahead with the vectorization series. In the previous video, I showed you how to vectorize your line art created in Photoshop and import it in Illustrator. In this video, we are going ahead with the shading. The process is the same but a bit more complex, but uh, no worries, I will explain you step by step. So, let's go. I will show you two different ways to vectorize your illustration. The first one with a flat image and this is a sloppy one and the pro one is with a layered PSD file. Let's open the flat image in Illustrator and uh, let's try to vectorize it uh, at once. You can find image uh, trace settings under window image trace and we need to click on the image. I think default uh, settings will be enough and we only need to click on colors and we have 30 colors. In this case, I think will be enough. So we click on trace and expand. So this is the result of image uh, trace uh, vectorization and the problem with this is that uh, while the quality is not too bad, the organization is really, really, really bad. So uh, just take a look to the outcome of image uh, trace and uh, you will notice that uh, this is a mess because all the shapes are mixed, all the color are mixed. So if you provide this to a client and the client, uh, for example, need to change the pink to green, he will need to uh, select uh, every pink uh, shape one by one and then uh, make the correction. So this is a, a sloppy way to vectorize your image. I'm going to show you the professional one now. So let's try the professional way. Uh, before going ahead, uh, I'm going to explain you uh, a very important thing about the uh, compatibility between Illustrator and Photoshop. If uh, we open our Photoshop file, you will find a lot of uh, layer effects, uh, layer max, uh, blend modes, uh, transparency, or even radiance. If you import this Photoshop file into Illustrator, you probably will get uh, some errors. So I spent a few minutes um, cleaning everything that uh, could case any problem. I delete um, the folders, I unlock the layers, I create uh, bitmaps uh, of the layer max and I put all the layers into normal mode. Then in Illustrator, we can uh, revert those change. So when I am done, I just uh, save it and we open it in Illustrator. PSD layer 2, we click on OK. And Illustrator will open the PSD file without any problem, but uh, each element in the Photoshop file is open as a new layer. So what I usually do is I select all the elements, I click on Ctrl X and I paste all of the elements into uh, one single layer. So now we are ready to vectorize uh, layer by layer with the image uh, trace. So I open image uh, trace and I use the file settings and only need to change uh, the color mode 
and uh, in adv advanced uh, settings I check uh, ignore white then click on trace and I click on expand and that's it you need to clean a little bit the results because uh, you will get a lot of uh, small shapes that are useless and it's just garbage so ready this ellipse is a vector shape so illustrator imported uh, fully editable so you don't need to do anything here i will only add uh, the stroke that i deleted and that's it so now i run uh, image trace in every layer you should take care that you delete all the small little piece of uh, vectors uh, so you don't get your uh, file overloaded with the small artifacts if you remember in image trace settings uh, we always mark ignore white in this layer everything is white so before tracing we are going to change the color i click on edit edit colors and adjust color balance there i just uh, move uh, move the slider a little bit and that's it now i run image uh, trace as usual So now I put it back to white and ready. So next one. In the original PSD file, I had uh, a few layers in multiply mode that I put in normal mode in order to be imported in Illustrator. So once I have the layer vectorized, I put it in multiply mode again. 80%. Okay. So next. This one goes in multiply mode too. Okay, so next one. This one is vector, so we don't need to do anything. And this one is white, so we need to adjust the color before and then then trace it now we change to white this one is vector 2 so this one is vector and this one 2 and this one 2 so the last one is the line art Sometimes when you vectorize, you can find uh, some things that are not aligned uh, properly. So you maybe need to move it a little bit like this. Okay. Ready. This layer is especially important because it's the one on top and it requires a lot of detail. If you want to know how to improve the quality of your line art uh, vectorization, I suggest that you watch uh, the video before this one. I move it a little bit. Okay, perfect. For this video, I didn't put much effort in the results so you can notice that uh, there are a lot of uh, small artifacts uh, anyway when i am done i usually spend a little bit time 
to improve all the small mistakes and deleting all the artifacts. I will close the, this file and I will open the, the one that I usually provide to my clients from SOS Factory. As you can see, everything is uh, ordered by groups in folders and the, all the paths are clean and everything looks perfect. And in case uh, that I need to change uh, the color, I can do it uh, easily because I have the, all the colors uh, in groups. So I just click uh, on any of them and change the color. So that's it. Uh, this is a way I usually work from SOS Factory. I hope the video was uh, useful for you and not too heavy because this stuff is not uh, fun, but uh, as a professional, you need to learn it. So see you on next video. Bye bye.